Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Heart Gold. On the last episode, we took out, I believe, Janning, Janning, Poison Ninja Person. Yeah, so, anyways, this episode, we're gonna take out Erica, or Erika, or whatever her name is. I'm pretty sure it's Erica. But, anyways, I'm gonna be starting off with my good old Terracross, and, you know, um, try my best. So, let's do this and see how uh, we think about something. Well, what do you wanna say? You say, seems a bit nervous. Heracross, you're gonna kill it. Just, never mind, it's just, we can just do this, Heracross. If it was me, which it is me, uh, I would let you battle the whole way. But nope, I need you to at least battle once, because you're about to level 52. And, well, but you could be out twice. Maybe even three times if necessary, I don't know. Alright, looks like we're both the same level, so let's do it anyways. And I know that all the Pokemon on their team and my team is awfully the same level, but I still have to try. So it's really one-on-one -on -one kind of a hardcore battle that could happen. But Heracross is a Bug-type Pokemon, which he also knows in Flying Move, which is really bad for them. But the bad thing is, Heracross does not have any Bug Moves himself. And uh, if he did, he'll be even stronger and better, but he doesn't. So okay, apparently he's going to probably get two power-ups from this battle, because he's in a fight of a victory bell, and he fought a uh, jump bluff, which traded out. And victory bell is super strong, but I don't know if it's exactly stronger or not, than uh, any other Pokemon, because I do not remember her main Pokemon. I believe it's a Tangela, but it could, I could be wrong, because I remember in the anime show, she had a Tangela, but, uh, you know, it could be like a Tang Worth or something now, so I don't know. Okay, so, let's see, let's use, uh, Aerial Ace again, because I knew it was going to use Full Restore. Pretty, I don't know, pretty, uh, obvious about that for me. So let's use Heracross one more time on Aerial Ace, and well, one more time because it's going to do a double effect on the next turn, which hopefully it's going to be right or not. Or, wait, wait, never mind, almost killed it, though. Got a critical, that was pretty good. Alright, so anyways, about playing Pokemon Heart Gold and Crystal at the same time. It's almost coming to an end. I am now 100% focused on these games. I'm going to play Heart Gold and Crystal all day long until I get to the end or the very last gym. And Heracross is level 52 now, so her, his next Pokemon is Jump Bluff, but I want to be switching into Espeon. I have not really showed her any love since getting to this place, but on the last episode, Last episode I did, just to let you know. Well, you guys probably did or didn't know, but who knows. Uh, we'll just use Psychic to finish it off. And the Heracross should be getting an XP uh, experience because he was battling this the very first turn, but he had to switch out with U-Turn or something. And whatever. So I'm going to keep Espeon out. And just use Psychic again to kill Blossom, which apparently is her strongest Pokemon, because it is level 56. Uh, I believe it's probably her strongest Pokemon, but I honestly do not know. Uh, but trust me, I'll probably know more in, like, uh, often, because I need to look through, like, the guidebook and give you more information and all that, and freaking, who is Sunny Day? Who is your Sunny Day? I don't know. So it's just Espeon... Psychic. Alright, well, so, so, Sunny Day is really, really scary because it now has the ability to basically solar beam its way all the way to victory the whole time. So it's pretty bad. So Espeon is apparently not faster than Blossom. You know, I believe it is, but apparently it's not. Uh, Espeon died. Yeah, even though it's a grass type gym, these gyms do get harder, so. That's all I gotta say. Uh, I'm gonna take out my good old buddy Arcanine. It feels like he's not really beginning action. More than Espeon or anybody else on this team. Even though he might have, it just doesn't feel like it to me. So he does Solar Beam. Hopefully, Arcanine can survive because it's a fire type and he's more stronger against grass. Uh, and that's correct. But, by calculations, if he got hit by Solar Beam two more times, he would have died, or maybe even once if it was a critical. And he killed Blossom, that's pretty cool. Alright. Arcanine's okay, a badass. Okay, so level boost up. 
the sunlight is strong. All right, so our last Pokemon is believable, Tangela. Like I said, and it's not her strongest Pokemon. What do you know? I guess it was Blossom, but our last Pokemon is Tangela. So I'm gonna just uh, flamethrow it until it dies. But freaking slept, made me sleep, made me slept. Yes, made me sleep. So yeah. Okay, so come on. Uh, so it looks like the sunlight faded, so they can't do instant solar beams anymore, or whatever they're going to do. Alright, so ancient power is actually a pretty good move, and I was surprised that Tangela knows ancient power, but has not evolved yet. So I believe that's the way how you make Tangela evolve. You make it learn ancient power, and then level up once, and it should evolve. So. Alright, uh... Because everything fucking rose, so that's pretty scary. Um, I'm going to use Heracross. Uh, I'm just going to use Aerial because I honestly do not know what I'm going to do to beat this freaking Tangela. Alright, Aerial Let's see if I at least weaken it halfway. I'm not even close. Dang it. One more time, Aerial and I don't think Heracross is going to survive. Yep. Heracross died. Ugh, it's okay, man. Alright, so let's use for Alligator. I know it's a ballsy move, and it's a gutsy one as well. Well, same thing, ballsy, gutsy. Uh, I just have to try him out. If you can get at least one Ice Fang, that would be awesome. But... Oh, wait, yes, wait. Okay. I was, I was like, highly... Gonna say he's gonna die, but he barely is gonna die. So Tangela is the same, basically. Uh, okay, the same health or HP it was from the last turn. Okay, got a little bit more HP. So now this is bad. Tangela is a run house machine. I only got is two more Pokemon, and I'm pretty sure they're really the weak to Ancient Power. But I got Ampharos. Oh, come on, wig out. Really? No wig out? Alright, if I'm pretty sure what wig out means, if it's super weak and, or lo oh, lower leveled, it uh, basically weakens the halfway point. Alright, uh, all I gotta do is just thunder bullet or just charge or something. Ugh. Oh my god, this tangle does not want to go down. Alright, 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 alright. So, it's just single beam, signal beam, yeah. So, I know I'm dead. Or hopefully I'm alive. And I'm dead. Wow, this is actually becoming a really hard gym, even though I thought it was going to be easier than I thought. Alright, because I am not giving any risks, I am... Ugh. Wow, this gym is getting really, like, pissed off a little bit. So this gym, I hate you, Tangela. I'm going to use a fly and not get hit by any of your abilities. And just hit you and die. 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 You freaking thing. It, what? 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 How is, this a, how is that possible? It's not supposed to have another full restore. It's supposed to only have one. Alright, uh, air slash one more time, and it should kill it! Come on, hang on, knock towel, knock towel, knock towel! Yes! Alright, we barely won this gym. <sighs> Good job, knock towel, and that's it, there you go. We defeated er Erica from Celadon City and stuff. Oh, I considered defeated. I don't really care. Just give us Rainbow Badge. And we got the Rainbow Badge. Yay! And look how badass Noctowl feels because he's the last one standing on our team. And we got the TM Giga Drain. I'm not sure if I'm going to use that. I'm not even sure I can use it. But, anyways, I believe that's it, guys. Um, Yeah, that was actually a pretty hard battle, even though it was a grass-type gym leader. Like, I even had no, basically no problems in, uh, Fuchsia City or whatever, to fighting, uh, Janny or 
Janin, or whatever his name is, the poison ninja bro guy, or girl person, I don't know. I had, like, no problems, and then this gym gave me problems. Uh, pretty weird. And my mom's calling me again on this game. My mom gets annoying a bit. Why doesn't, like, the trainer itself block her? <laughs> or, if it's her mom, if it's his mom calling, just put the, the song as, uh, like, I don't know, like a scary, funny song or something? Like, like, I don't know, like, your mama's so dumb, she's still calling you. <laughs> or, I don't know. Uh, hmm, so let's see. What's this? Teal and... I gotta think on where's the next gym to go to, because I honestly don't know exactly all that much to know where to go. Okay, so, next gym. I'm going to, I believe, it's gonna be, um... Yep, looks like we're going to our good old buddy Brock, because that's actually the next place, and look at that, we almost got almost every single gym leader in this game, and there's going to be two extra boss battles in this game, the final, and your rival. So, until then gamers, please like the video, add this friend, subscribe, share friends, favorite it, and please like the video, add this friend, subscribe, share friends, favorite it, why did I say that twice? I don't know. Anyways, please leave a comment in the comment section below, or on Twitter, Shadow Knight sixty four X and Exceeding Shadow. Plus, you can add me on Skype as Exceeding Shadow. And I'll see you guys on the next episode of Pokemon Heart Gold when we go fight Brock. See you guys till then.